Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be going over Boxy Charms November box. I received variation 20 and the total value of uh, my November box is $150. Uh, the first two items I received uh, were the morning and night goggle eye masks by Vita Masks and they are made in Korea. They are cruelty free, vegan friendly, paraben free, phthalate and sulfate free. The morning brighten and protect mask is made with silver, caffeine, algae complex, pumpkin and pomegranate. This is a cooling eye mask intended to depuff and brighten. And the night repair and relax uh, mask is made with copper, amino acids, hyaluronic acid, and centella. It is an ultra relaxing eye mask. It's made to repair the delicate eye area to smooth fine lines. Each mask retails for six dollars. This next item is the Stem Cellular Anti Wrinkle Eye Cream. Um, it's made by Juice Beauty and it's made in the United States. It is 0.5 fluid ounces. Um, it is cruelty free and vegan. A proprietary blend of fruit stem cells and vitamin C infused into certified organic antioxidant rich botanical juices works to reduce the appearance of dark circles and fine lines around the eyes. The BoxyCharm brushes were made exclusively for this uh, subscription box. The large brush is a multipurpose brush intended for liquids, creams, powders, or mineral products. And the second brush is um, intended for uh, foundation application. Um, now, as many of us makeup lovers uh, know, you can pretty much use a brush for whatever purpose you you want. The Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick is made in the United States. It's cruelty, gluten, and paraben free. Uh, it's also vegan. It is 0 0.16 ounces and the shade I received is called Flirty. The next item is the Celestial Thunder Palette by Dominique Cosmetics. It's made in the United States. It is cruelty free. This highly pigmented palette has eight shades. Of those, five are mattes and three are shimmers. The shades are Eternal Light, Fireball, Black Matter, Zero Gravity, Lucid Dream, Storm Dust, Lunar Eclipse, and Mystic Ice. If you're still here, thank you for hanging on. <laughs> uh, what were your thoughts on this month's Boxy Charm? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Would you purchase this for yourself or someone else? Um, I personally did not like the brushes. Uh, I didn't find them aesthetically pleasing. Um, on top of that though, I felt uh, the brushes were just not practical. They were too bottom heavy and uh, that requires a learning curve. Um, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until the next one.